Well, good afternoon. I am so thrilled to have Finn Murphy with me today, the author of The Long Haul. I love this book. I have always wanted to drive an 18-wheeler and to finally meet someone who does. This is a brand new one. Who wrote this book is amazing. So thank you for joining us. That's great to be here. Thank you. So tell so what we all need to know is what your handle is and you know tell us about your wonderful truck. Well, my handle is U-turn. Okay. And I'm called I call myself you can't you give your handle yourself. So, oh, you do. Okay. Yeah, it's sort of like a totem, you know. Okay. Uh, I'm U-turn because uh, I work as a mover. I work for a van line. I move people. So I put this big truck where it's never supposed to go. I put it into suburban subdivisions. I put it into fancy houses with long driveways. I put it in downtown inner cities. So I'm always doing U-turns because I'm always getting lost or I get bad directions or some street is closed. So I'm really good at doing a U-turn. Well, and for those of in the listening you know, audience, you came from a very middle class home. And I then did. you decided that you were going to drive a truck. Yes. And they, what did your parents say to that? They erased my name from the family Bible. Exactly. That's as they what should. Happens, as they should. <laughs> I had brought um, all of the wisdom I had accrued over 21 years to make that decision. Um, and I was, uh, they tried very much to disabuse me of that. I finished three years of college and I was working as a mover for the local moving company in semesters between college. Remember when we all had summer jobs instead exactly. of internships? Right. Yes. Yes, I had that. So, <laughs> so my parents thought it would be a good idea to go out find find the world and work for a little bit. Uh, they didn't realize that that's a double-edged sword. So the third summer that I was driving and working as a mover, I took a trip with a long-haul driver who needed some help for a week. And uh, we went down the East Coast. I went... Oh. You know, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge mm -hmm. Tunnel, went mm -hmm. through that at sunset, driving oh. the truck, oh, I was, that was it, I was done, I was seduced, I, then I, was going, I wasn't going back to school, so then I got my commercial driver's license and I went to work for North American Van Lines. In fact, um, I was married for 25 years, I got divorced, almost every truck driver I know is divorced. Uh, it is difficult to keep up relationships. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I do what's called high-end corporate relocation. Ooh, and what sounds very, It's a big mouthful, isn't it? Yes, it is. And yeah. what does that mean? That means I get to move movie stars, oh. pop politicians, oh. high high-level corporate executives. So I don't do U-hauls. Yeah, I don't do you know. Here's some friends, and let's get some pizza and help me move. No, no, no. I'm I'm doing something else. So like. Um, yeah, so I do, I basically, I hang out in a lot of places where, you know, the, the wealthy people hang out. In fact, I know where, you know, you t you, if you name me a state, I can tell you probably the highest income zip code in that state. So tell me, how did you decide to write this book? I'd been looking around for a reasonably literate treatment of this genre. Okay. Which apparently doesn't exist. I'd like to think a little bit of it exists now. Um, but, you know, this whole trucking thing, this cowboy thing, this, mm -hmm. this uh, go west young man thing, it's, I mean, it's etched into the cultural ethos of American life, but there's no literature. I started by not thinking I was writing a book at all. I started by, in order to let off steam at the end of the day, I used to talk into an audio cassette recorder. Okay. And I started doing that, woo, back in the early 80s. And then I started talking a little bit while I was driving about things that I was seeing. And then I started surreptitiously recording interactions with my, mm. with my, with the crew, with the people I work with, which, which are a really amazing, fun group of hardworking, poor people. Mm -hmm. And then I started um, recording stuff going on with my interactions with my customers. And then it started to coalesce into you know, these little vignettes that, that mm -hmm. pretty much make up the book. Well, I love this story. You're, you're a good Finn Murphy. You, you have the life we all dream about. I do? Yes, you do. Indeed. I always wanted to work in an independent bookstore. Well, you can work in one, too. There's that, what's that working, there's a work, there's a day. What is that? It's a working day um, where 
authors come into independent bookstores and spend a day selling. What's that called? Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I could do that. Yes, you could. I could do start that. hand selling. Well, my book. There you go. There you go. And and very well you could do that. And I I'm so delighted that you came to Bookstore One and um, I love this book. I'm and so I delighted that you like it. I mean, you really you really you you gave it a careful read. I'm so impressed and I'm very flattered. Well, thank you, sir.